So, feet on your mat, socks off, drink at the ready, mat out, everything ready, you know the drill. <laughs> Toes forwards, feet hip width apart, good. Soften your knees, tuck your bottom under, drop your ribs down, hands on your hips here just to feel where the hips are, whether they're level, good. And you can actually, in order to tuck your bottom under slightly, you can push your thumbs down and pull your fingertips up at the front. And that gives you that feeling of scooping the bottom under slightly. In order to do that, you need your knees a little bit soft. That gives you the freedom to tuck under. Drop the shoulders, tuck your chin, lengthen up through the back of the neck and elbows pointing straight out to the side. For some reason that helps to keep that upper body posture as it should be. And then taking your weight side to side, feeling the floor through the foot. So not only swaying with the top half of the body, but think about the weight landing on one foot and then landing on the other foot, how you absorb it, drawing up through the arch a little bit. Good. And forwards and backwards. Breathe. Brilliant. Lovely. Let's bring the feet slightly closer and do our usual little swap, stretching through the feet. This is when I remember that your feet do get a little bit tight as well, as well as the rest of the body. You can get tightness in and around the feet. Good. Squeezing one glute and then the other. When we all go back to everyday life and actually have to wear some proper shoes, rather than just slippers in the house and probably trainers when we go out to the shops and whatever, um, I think everyone's going to have a little bit of, um, have to have a bit of time adapting to normal shoes again. <laughs> Great, not that I wear them, I'm forever in trainers anyway. Great, so I wanted to do that um, quite difficult standing series that we did a couple of weeks ago and where we do everything on one leg and then we plant that one down and do everything on the other leg. So prepare yourselves mentally. Take the weight over onto your left leg. Take that right leg out to the side. So the important things on this one is to keep the toes pointing forwards, keep the hips down in position, draw and tuck your bottom under. So you're not swinging your toes out to the side wide like that, you keep the toes pointing forwards. Great. Lovely, bring that foot in, you're enough to wait there through it briefly, turn your toes out, bend both knees, scoop and tuck your bottom under. Point your foot out to 45 degrees there and lift. Thinking more of a sideways lift than a front lift. Good, breathe, keep that oxygen coming in to get to your muscles. On the standing leg, remember it's soft, it's bent a little bit. The knee is going over the, to the, the toe, so it's going out in that direction. And your arch isn't dropped and rolled in. They're the temptations for you to have. Good, now just the ankle. Lift and point, lift the toes and point. Draw in through here, drop through the shoulders. Nice, now side and front, side and front, keep going. Good. Two more. Lovely, come back in. Turn those toes from point forwards again. Now doing the other side, this is a little bit cruel because each Time you do an exercise it works both hips so you're going to be tired on this side take the weight onto that right leg it's just been working so squeeze it and out to the side make sure the knee is locked on the left leg the toes are pointing forwards next time I teach this I'm trying to I'm going to try and be a mirror for you so if I say left I'll do my right so that we're a bit more mirrored I tend to do that when I'm teaching a room of people but 
Not so much on mine. <laughs> Coming in, turn your toes out, bend both knees, scoop and tuck your bottom under, out at 45 degrees. Think about this standing leg to start with, rotate the knee out and lift up through the arch, and then lift and down. Good, pulling up through that arch, scooping in through your tummy, trying to keep the hips level all the time. <sighs> Breathing. Good, and then just the ankle. Great. Lifting up to the arch, knee bent, everything straight. And breathe. Good, and then side and front. For those of you who um, don't have your cameras on and um, struggle to maybe keep your positions, having a second device, if you have one, an iPad or, or your phone or something with a front facing camera next to you, just on, doesn't have to be recording, just on, can give you some good feedback. Cool, stop there, well done. Give your legs just a little shuffle around. And we'll move on to some arms for a bit to give those legs a slight break, but you will feel a lot going on around here. Bend both knees, bottom tucked under, roll and drop your shoulders, and then palms facing up. Let's stretch forwards, out, forwards and back in again. Good, and when you come back in, pull those shoulders back, not too far back, but feel the shoulder blades working as you come back. So from this point, draw back, pulling the shoulder blades together. Nice. Breathe. Lovely. Tucking your chin, lengthen up through the back of the neck, draw in through your tummy. Good, really feels good through the arms to open out and stretch through here. Two more. Last one. Good, arms down by the sides, slide down and come back up. It's not a big exercise, it's not a complicated one, but I love the way that it opens up this side and then close it down to pull your way back up. As with Pilates all the time, you it's nice to overthink an exercise, or at least strongly think about the exercise. Good, keep scooping in through here. Brilliant. And even the arm that's going down by your side, push and stretch it down and away. Good. Try and reach down as far as you can, reach out of that shoulder and reach down. Brilliant. Um, bring the arms up to the front and all the way up. And I want you to stretch up with one and down, stretch up with the other. Good. Feels very old fashioned. Um, <laughs> keep fit, doesn't it, this one, I think. <laughs> but you're pushing up through that shoulder blade, feel the shoulder blade lift and stretch up and then the other one, it just involves a little bit of strength and a bit of a stretch as well. Really good for the upper back and the shoulders. Good. Palms forwards, make sure those knees are bent, draw in the tummy and big circles around to here. Palms are still forward, all the way up, palms still forward. Good, and keep going, just in that nice big circle. Keep your chin tucked, and as you reach up, you keep those ribs down. Good. Might feel a little, little bit clunky and clicky around the shoulders, but it's 
all good for stretching and elongating. Halfway, palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down. Keep going in that position. Keep scooping in through your tummy. And breathe. Great. Lovely, come back down. Oh. Relax around those shoulders. Step your legs out. Good. We're going to lunge and then back up. Lunge to the other side and back up. I want you to push away through that straight leg. Push and stretch away through it. And make sure when you're lunging to the side, you're pushing your knee out to the side as well. We worked those glutes earlier, so they should be switched on. They are the muscles that pull and rotate your knees out. So they should be working here. Fairly relaxed. Good, and you should get a nice stretch through the inner thigh each time you push over to the side too. Good, now when we go to the right, we're going to stay there, keep your body upright and lift that right heel for 10, two, three, four, five, pull straight up with the heel, eight, nine, ten, lovely, come up, come over to the other side and lift the other heel, two, three, four, oh, that's weaker on that side, five, six, seven, control it back down, nine, ten, lovely, and push your way back up. Let's turn the toes in, heels in, and toes in again. Turn your way to the side, and let's do some of our RDLs, which work the back of the leg, the hamstring down through the back of the leg. So draw everything in, get your posture feeling good to start with. Have something next to you if you want to, or if you can. If you can't, don't worry, just hold on to your balance and you're stretching your left leg back and your body's coming forwards. Good, and come back up. You have a straight standing leg. Two, three, good. Four, five, well done. Seven, eight, lovely, two more, nine, ten, brilliant, to the other side, good, good, Finger tucks next to you if you want to or if you can, tuck your bottom under, have everything straight to start with, clock to yourself, what is straight and then try not to deviate from that. Your right leg back now. First one's always a little bit odd and awkward, and then you get into it. Two, three, four, five, six. Good. Seven. It's this hip that wants to rotate outwards as you're doing these, so try and keep it forward. Brilliant. Okay, I think we deserve to come down to the mat now. Um, so on the end, <laughs> toes forward. Take a breath in, breathe out and curl your way down. Once you're down at the bottom there, make sure you let everything relax. Arms, head, upper back, shoulders especially. Bend all the way down to sit on the heels and then stretch all the way back up again. Hopefully your knees feel okay doing that. If they don't, it might be good just to stay in a stretch. Good, last one. Brilliant, okay. Coming down onto hands and knees. Lovely, just rocking forwards and backwards. 
just slightly forwards and backwards over the hands, back over the knees. Good. And while we're doing it, thinking about drawing in through that lower tummy. Good. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears. Not going too far forwards, just a little um, pulse forwards and backwards if you like. Great. Okay, we're going to stretch our right leg back. In that position, tuck your bottom under and stay strong through the front here. I want you to go up, down, bend down. So you, you tap the toe each time. It's a straight leg lift and then you bend the knee and tap. Good. Straight, bend. Straight, bend just to make that brain work a little bit. All the time thinking about those muscles at the front of your body staying strong. more. Lovely. Come back in. Take the weight onto that knee. Stretch the other one out. Bend and then a straight lift. Good. Try not to rock the hips side to side and try and keep strong through the front. Oh, lost my rhythm there. Keep the weight equal through your hands on the floor and push up and away through your shoulders. One last one. Good, then come back in. Now let's stretch up with the right arm, rotate around, push away with the left, and then push through, stretching your arms through, 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 like that. I want you to stay there briefly because it feels like quite a nice static stretch to stay in. But you've got to hold your body relatively strong as, as you're doing it. Good, stretch up again. And through, you can rest your head on the floor. <laughs> rest your head in the back of the shoulder on the floor. Great, last one on this side. Brilliant, bring that hand on the floor, stretch the other one up and round, and then through. Back of the shoulder and your ear. <laughs> Good, go again, stretch up and through. And last one. I don't think I've held you in the stretch quite so long on this side. So stay there. Good. Last one in this position. Turn your toes under. We've been used to doing our exercise where we lift the knees like this. But what I want you to do on this one is lift, hold, and then step out and step in and down. <laughs> We're going to go again. Let's do five of these. They're quite difficult. Off we go. Out, in, and down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. One last one. Down. and we'll dabble in those a little bit more next time. Coming around, let's get into our mermaid position here and we're going to do this exercise as a bit more of a strengthening exercise so as you're coming over coming up onto the knees as you stretch over and back down again let's do five each side so coming up onto the knees one and down two on to the mat a little bit more. Three, that's better. Good. Four. Five. Lovely. Other side. Scoop the legs around. Up tall to start with. Pushing that hip slightly down towards the floor. Pulling up and over. 
One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Great. Just bring your legs around in front of you. It's a nice seamless transition from one place to another. Bringing your arms up in front of you there. Good. Curling back off the sitting bones, scooping in your tummy, lengthening the back and then closing the back and opening up, pulling up. Good. Curl back and up tall. I'm trying to use too many words there, I think. Curl back and pull yourself up tall. Each time, scoop in and draw upwards. And in fact, if we bring the arms up, that helps us too. So curl back with your arms in front, come up tall, bring them up high. Good. Hello, how are you? Good. Let's do four more. Bit of a late one last night. Two. Last two. Brilliant. Straighten out your legs and come forward. Great. Let me just um, block out the background noise. <laughs> Still having the working from home problems with other voices in the background. <laughs> um, great, let's come down onto our backs. Lovely. So, oh, it feels nice to lie down. Feet tip width apart, knees hip width apart, don't let them drop inwards, keep them apart. Good. Think about the pelvis, rock and tuck and go the other way. Good. Settle halfway in between, tighten through your pelvic floor, get that lift, imagine your elevator off 10 floors, going up around five floors, making sure you're not doing any extra gripping to get the stability, it's all got to come from within. Ribs down, chin up, chest open, and lift and down. Good, good. Breathing. Nice and relaxed. Tighten through your pelvic floor. Brilliant. As the foot comes down, gently push into it. Nothing too strong. But feel like you're pushing down with just as much energy as it takes to lift the other leg. That's something to think about, isn't it? I was reminded this week of how important these simple exercises are with a client that I saw that actually wasn't doing these with as much um, relaxation as you need to do it. The client was bracing too much as they were doing these, which wasn't helping at all and in fact creating problems. So always remembering to have that poise but relaxation in the big outer muscles, you just concentrate on the deep ones close to the spine, tightening. Brilliant, lowering one knee sideways and come back up. Try and take the leg as far as you can out to the side. Don't worry about how big or little movement you have there. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. Now the right leg to tabletop, stretch it out and away, back in and down. Other leg, tabletop out, tighten the thigh, back in and down. Good, make sure your breathing is nice and relaxed. 
Good. One more each side. Good. We have, we're going to do 30 crunches all together now. We're going to do 10 straight. Then we're going to do 10 crossing that side, 10 crossing that side. So it's going to be quite difficult. So nice deep breath to get, get yourself ready. Good. Tuck the chin, lengthen the back of the neck. Nice wide elbows, feet firmly planted. And off we go, arching the back a little bit as we crunch. Or maintaining, I should say. Four. Six. Seven. Eight, nine. Ten. Right leg crossed over, like so. We're bringing the elbow across. One. Two. Four, well done. Seven, keep going. <laughs> That's ten. Brilliant. Rest your head briefly. Cross the other leg over and off we go again. One, two. Six, <laughs> seven, ten. Amazing. Head and shoulders down. Roll your head from side to side. Just to ease off any neck tension that may have built in there. Good stuff. All right. So we need to bring our legs back up again and let's do a nice quick series of all the exercises with the legs both up in tabletop. So let's have both legs up, draw in, tap and lift, tap and lift, trying to tap towards the end of the mat, make sure it's not too close like that. Good. And having your hands across your tummy to make sure that that is behaving, <laughs> drawing in and staying strong. Four more. Good, now taking it out to the side. Good, keep scooping in through your tummy. Five. Sideways. Good. Go at your own speed. I've somehow settled into quite a fast speed today, so don't feel like you've got to. Had an early night last night, so full of energy. Brilliant. Now stretching away. I know it's a tough series. Stretching out and in. Stretch away. Tighten your thigh. Squeeze your thigh. If you're not comfortable with doing all of these all in one go, then do bring your legs down for a little rest or do the previous exercise that we did that's the equivalent of this one. Good. One more each side. Ah. Bring your knees in to stretch. Lovely. Well done getting through that. <laughs> good, good. Um, I feel like doing a sort of hundreds equivalent, so bringing your head and shoulders up. But we're uh, going to the side and tapping the ankle. Okay, let's try it and go for 30. One, two, three, four, five. Ten, another ten. Well, another twenty. <laughs> Good, and last ten. Six, seven, nine, thirty. Well done. Good stuff. Knees and toes together, hands on your ribs. Let's just roll the knees from side to side because it's such a nice one to do, especially after you've done some of the other more aggressive exercises if you like. Picking up the hip and the foot and rolling over. Right. One more 
other side. Nice. Okay, so a different kind of shoulder bridge today. I would like you to stretch your right leg up. Now, as far as your back is concerned, your lower back is going to come down to the floor, unless you've got super, super, super flexible hamstrings there if you're a dancer or something. So I don't mind that too much, but we continue with that and lift up our glutes. You're not gonna lift up very high, so don't feel worried that it feels so restricted, but let's try and do 10 on each side. One, two, three, Four, if you're struggling, have a bent knee like that. Five, six, seven, nine, ten. So it's really strong in that glute and hamstring on that weight bearing leg. Bring that leg down, stretch up the other one, and off we go. One, two, push that weight bearing knee away from you. Five, remember to bend the knee if you're struggling. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Bring both feet in and up onto the toes. Let's just do a couple of nice curly shoulder bridges just to ease off through the back a little bit there. Tucking under, curling up and then come back down again. Tucking under, pushing away with the knees, curling up and back down. And your last one, tucking under, curling up, pushing your knees away. And back down. Very nice. Turning onto your side. So just rolling over there onto your side. Tuck and scoop your bottom hip back. Tucking the ribs back. Scooping your bottom under. Push that top knee away. Try and open the waist on the top top half, try and stretch out the waist on the top half there. Sometimes it's a little bit easier if you're flat to do that stretching out through the waist. And then push out and away and lift with that leg. Push away and scoop and lift. Good. And keep going, of course. <laughs> That's 15, I'm going to try and keep count a little bit more today. That's 20, brilliant. Let's bring the feet up and we'll do 20 here. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, brilliant. Um, keep that leg up. Drop the bottom one in and back. So try and bring your knee just for this exercise today a little bit closer towards your chest. When you bring it back, you bring it back in line with the body. Good. So a nice closed hip there. Six, seven, two more, brilliant, stretch that leg out and away from you, pulsing up and down, squeeze in through here. Stretch both legs out and just bring your bottom leg to join your top leg. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Okay, let's come on to the other side. I always feel wary on whether I'm going to remember the series that I've just done <laughs> to repeat it exactly on the other side. So staying flat to start with for the first couple of exercises, tuck the bottom hip back, tuck and scoop your bottom under. Push and try and stretch out and elongate through that top waist. Push out along the leg, scoop and tuck your bottom under. 
and lift that knee. It takes a few little adjustments sometimes to get yourself right in the good position. Good. Keep going there, just checking. That's good. Remembering to always draw in and tuck under. It's not the arch of the back that we have when we're on our back, scooping in and tucking under. Great. And make sure you keep breathing as well. I haven't been so good at counted on the other side. I've not counted so far here, but I think that's around 20. <laughs> Let's lift up your feet. Good, and go again. Eight, nine, ten, another ten. Nine, ten, keep that leg up, drop the other one down, and then remember we're coming into the chest as far as you can and back out, coming all the way in and out, good. Five, six, great. Two more. Brilliant. Stretch that leg out and pulse up and down. Squeezing in through here. Lovely. Both legs out. Hand on the floor probably and bottom leg to join it. Ten. Can't remember whether we did ten or twenty. There you go. There's fifteen, just in case. So coming up, crossing your legs, stretching ah, through those glutes. Okay, so with the legs crossed and the knees down, then you stretch through the side glutes. There, coming from side to side a little bit, gives you a nice stretch up and through. Maybe up into that lower back slightly too. Good, push your hands forward. See how far forwards you can get your fingertips. <sighs> breath in, breath out. Sinking forwards into it. And then taking both hands over and round to one side and hold there. round to the other side and hold. You can hook one hand on top of the other to fix it there. Lovely. Stretch your legs out into a V. Good. Hands behind you to start with, just fingertips maybe pushing up the way, pushing your chest high and your legs out. That's usually enough to feel that stretch through that inner thigh. Then for those of you who can bring your hands forwards, <laughs> maybe walk them forwards a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, good. Bring your legs in. And then come up onto one knee. Let's do a nice big lunge forwards today. All the way forward, stretching the back of the front thigh and the front of the back thigh. It's the most confident I've ever said that. <laughs> I always think we get that one wrong. Good. Let's come all the way back and sit down on that heel as long as that ankle can take it. And come forwards. Lovely. Other side. 
good, lunging all the way forwards into it, but kind of keeping your body upright at the same time. I don't really like to come and rest on that thigh. Keep your body upright, but have your hands on the knee there. Breathe into it. Great. Good, good. Coming all the way back onto that ankle. If it's uncomfortable, you can stay up like we normally do. That takes me a little bit of shuffling to get down there and to get into the right position. Okay, good work. Coming on to hands and knees. Good. Toes tucked under. Stretching up through your bottom <laughs> and walking one heel down at a time. Pushing down into it, really feeling the back of the calf there to stretch with each one. And remembering to stretch the toes and the foot as well. Left the other leg. Nice. Lovely, walking your hands in. And just a nice gentle bend and stretch of each, of both knees. So walking your hands to your feet and then a little bend and stretch there of both knees. Good. Curl, 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 back up again. Rolling your shoulders and then just a quick reminder of how to hold your posture. Feet hip width apart, knees bent, bottom tucked under. Ribs down, broaden out the chest, pull the shoulder blades down the chest wall at the back, tuck the chin, lengthen up through the back of the neck and then arms just hanging there. Lovely. Try and hold that for the rest of the day. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well done guys.